Hello, everybody. I'm Jims McMahon, and with me is Gorilla Metzo. All right, all you min-maxers and competitive spirits, it is time for our next Blood Bowl 2020 team. Get ready to win some tournaments with... Checks notes. Oh, it's the Ogres, Jim. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, maybe uh, we got to reshift our focus here. Ogres, I think, have gotten a lot better. Walk us through why, Jim. Yeah, they, they have got a lot better. Um, unfortunately for them, they're, they're really close to having a really good build. They were, they were just 10k short of being able to start with what I would call a pretty decent start, and they're just shy of that. But um, Noblars have been reduced to 15k, which is obviously good for them. Um, they're not very good at passing, but they never were. Um, they can get random general skills, which are kind of, you know, you could randomly get, if they if you level them up, you could go for a random general skill and maybe get like, you know, a lot more likely to get something usable like Dirty Player or, or something. Um, the Run Punter is fantastic. This is this is the big buff of the team. Um, kick Teammate was was a bit unreliable and a bit crap, to be honest, in, uh, <laughs> in Blood Bowl 2016. Now it's amazing. Now it's just throw a teammate that doesn't count as a pass. And it's got slightly harsher rules for if you if you mess it up and like if you fumble or whatever, so it's it's a it's a little bit worse. It's a tiny drawback, but it doesn't take your pass action, so you can totally like you know d collect the ball in the pass in the backfield, pass to a different nobbler, and then your run punter can boot him into the end zone, and it's just amazing. Like it, it's so much better than throw teammate, so much better. And he's got passing access, so you can stick leader on him to make up for your lack of rerolls. Um, and he's he's also passing on a four plus as well, isn't he? So he's uh, he's he's not been nerfed in passing, unlike ogre blockers who <laughs> who've also been nerfed in passing, like most people have. So um, yeah, that's that's that. Rerolls remain seventy k. Uh, low cost lineman special rule means that Noblar lineman. Their, their hiring cost does not count towards TV. Um, so, like, if they get upgrades, such as Dirty Player, which is probably pretty much the only skill you'd want, I guess, <laughs> um, then, you know, if, then they wouldn't count. So if you had, like, 10 Noblars, there would be zero TV for your current TV. If, you have, if one of them had Dirty Player, it, there would be 30 TV for 10 players. All right, well... Yeah, I really like that run punter. It's kind of nice when you have a player that's just like the auto add like that. Only 5k more expensive than a regular blocker, so you still are going to want to build around a uh, starting uh, starting six ogres. But what's the downside, Jim? You were talking about that perfect start. What are we getting for a starting roster now, and what, what are they just shy of that you were looking for? Yeah, well, your big two choices are whether to start with a one... Re well, for me, anyway, I like six ogres. I think if you haven't got six ogres, you haven't got an ogre team. And there's some people um, on Blood Bowl 2 who'll start with five rerolls, and, you know, I'm not saying they're wrong, but it's not for me. I like six ogres because it gives you the biggest presence, and I never know when to use rerolls anyway for them, <laughs> you know? So, but what they could nearly get is they could nearly get six ogres, um, a reroll, and six snotlings. However, they're 5k short of that. Sorry, not snotlings, noblars. They're 5k short of that. They could only get five noblars if they started with six augers and a reroll. And I think starting with 11 players, even though you'd be getting, you know, 85k in inducements, so you could get a babe or something, um, I feel like that is just too much 11, like too few 11 players. So I would personally start with um, the six augers. No rerolls, which would make your TV 845, and then buy a bunch of snotling and uh, noblars. <laughs> it doesn't really matter how many. You could get 10 for a full 16, but then you couldn't hire star players. So you probably would only want to get um, eight or nine noblars there, and maybe uh, three points of uh, dedicated fans. Yeah. So something like that, and then just I would just go six ogres, no rerolls, just old school it. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the no reroll start on any team is always terrifying, but I think I got to agree with you here. You got to have the six ogres, uh, and you know you can free up a bit of money, so you've got all sorts of options in the inducements with star players or grabbing a wizard or something like that. Um, if you if you give up that reroll and just 
going into a game with 11 players is always scary. Going into a game with 11 players, five of which are almost guaranteed to get removed uh, every time they're hit, is just... Uh, it's not, or every time they hit the ground, I should say, is yeah. uh, is a is a bit too much for me. I think I, I think I like the uh, the bench and the no re rolls on that one, and I'll swear my brains out every time uh, <laughs> I need to re roll something. But that's what you get when you're choosing to play with ogres to begin with. Yeah, but we'll look at this. If if you spent eight four five on the ogres, it doesn't matter how many noblars you've got; they don't add to your TV, so you'll be getting one hundred and fifty five k in inducements. If you want a reroll, you can just get extra team training. So it, it's uh -huh. just better. It's just better to start not start with a reroll. It's it's basically strictly better to not have a reroll because it's only you're only losing thirty k by uh, by going that way. Oh, that's the, <laughs> that yeah that opens up the doors. I think I think that makes honestly I think that makes ogres a viable option to give a whirl like you're not going to expect the same results as you would with most other blood bowl teams but you can have a hell of a lot of fun playing ogres that's why they exist to begin with you can make everyone cringe a little bit when the game starts up regardless of whether they're going to win it uh they don't want to play the ogres so you can have a real good time and uh now that you can build a somewhat viable uh starting roster with them um Again, if you're willing to dance that dangerous game of uh, no rerolls, uh, yeah. should be very interesting to see what some players do with them. Oh yeah, and I should have mentioned this earlier, but one great buff for ogres, like one of the one of the weaknesses was they didn't really have a lot of good skills. You know, like you could take guard, and uh, okay, you know, it would get you more three Ds, but it's not that good, is it? Having guard on normals. And then the stand firm also wasn't so good. Like it was kind of good, so they couldn't push you away. Break tackle was actually really good. It is a big nerf for them. Actually, break tackle is a lot worse. So, yeah, that's a shame for them. Break they are break tackle is a lot worse for ogres. To be fair, but what's amazing for them is brawler. Brawler meaning when you make a block action, but not as part of a blitz, and you can re-roll one of the dice that's both down. So what that's going to let you do is you're going to be able to greed every block. If you make a two dice block and roll a push and a both down, you can re-roll the both down every single time. And then if you roll a one in nine and roll two both downs or a skull and a both down, you can re-roll one of those both downs. And it's just going to it's going to it's going to stop turnovers and get more knockdowns. So brawler is going to be the absolute number one skill for every single ogre, I think. Interesting. Very very good stuff. All right, well, that's your Ogre team. It takes a special kind of player to commit to playing with the Ogres, but I think they're going to get rewarded for their long suffering uh, in Blood Bowl 2020. Yeah, a little bit better. I mean, I, I like Ogres. I've had a lot of fun with them, so, you know, they, they are fun, even if they're terrible. So, <laughs> thanks very much, Gorilla Metso. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.